On part one of the Greensboro Food Tour, we got to try four unique food spots with Clutch Coffee, Melt Kitchen, ZMG, and Heavenly Buffaloes. The majority of the food was bomb, so make sure you guys check that out if you haven't yet. In today's video, we have four more exciting locations to explore. We'll be visiting a famous chicken and waffle spot, a new gluten-free and keto-friendly bakery, one of my favorite boba locations, and finally a beautiful French restaurant. Welcome everyone to part two of the Greensboro Food Tour. All right, what's up guys? Welcome to another video. Today we are on part two of the Greensboro food tour. Today we're going to be going to four different food spots and on top of that we are going back to round one because they are the sponsor of the food tour and this is going to be a great time. I hope you guys enjoy this video. Real quick, if you guys didn't know, I am starting a podcast. By the time that this video goes up, it should be started in about a week or two. So if you guys could please subscribe and support it, I'm just going to be the first link in the description box down below. And with that being said, let's start the food tour. For the first spot of the day, we're at Dame's Chicken and Waffles. Dame's is a famous restaurant that is known by almost every Greensboro local. With locations also in Durham, Cary, and Chapel Hill, Dame's food is the epitome of delicious Southern cooking. I've actually been a huge fan of Dame's since I've discovered them back in 2015. I'm really excited to have them on board. And with that being said, let me show you guys everything we ordered. So we are here at Dame's Chicken and Waffles. If you guys didn't know, I love Dame's. I've always been a fan of their food. I hit them up and I wanted them to be a part of the food tour. How it works at Dame's Chicken and Waffles is you can order either a classic food item, you know, shrimp and grits, things like that, or what you can order what they're known for, which is chicken and waffles. They have different layouts, presets that you can order that has a specific type of chicken, how many, and a specific type of waffle, and they're smeared. You can mix and match, so you can really decide, oh, this is how many wings I want. On on top of what type of waffle and what type of schmear. And what is a schmear? These are schmears right here. These are schmears right here. So schmears are essentially like butter spreads. They have a recipe that's very unique because I haven't really seen it anywhere else. You spread it on your waffles and they're super delicious. My personal favorite is peach apricot, but I did get three different ones. So we're gonna see how that goes. But yeah, we have three different types of waffles. So we got three wings on top of a sweet potato waffle, three wings on top of a vegan waffle. Believe it or not, their vegan waffle is amazing from what I remember and then we have an order of just a classic waffle cheese and grits here and a potato salad i'm gonna review this but i'm gonna bring in a special guest everybody put your hands together for michelle mai Woo, yeah yeah you ordered dijon mustard too because yeah. she's a weirdo it's so good here though i did it with my chicken so michelle is gonna review this by itself collectively her chicken and waffles but mainly the vegan waffle and i'll, I'll be reviewing the one with the sweet potato even though i know the vegan is don't Wait, slap though. Yeah. So how do you guys eat chicken and waffles? Do you eat it together or do you eat it separately? So I'm I, a weirdo and I'll eat it separately. There's the people who eat it completely separate, the people that eat it together with syrup, and then the people that eat it together with syrup and hot sauce. You gotta have the hot sauce. I'm gonna let y'all know how this uh, vanilla almond mirror is. Here. Oh wow, that tastes like chocolate, like a white chocolate bar. Oh. That's so good. Okay, so first I'm gonna try it separately, like lame people. This is the bomb, the peach apricot. I always dump syrup on it. Yucky. Just kidding. Why do you have mustard? It's really good, dude. With mustard? Like the, yes. Okay, so let me eat it separate first. One of their dishes come with the honey mustard. Mm. Um, wow. It's not the same. You have to eat it together, bro. There's people who do light syrup, like one. I do two. I love syrup. And I love diabetes. Sometimes I don't even use syrup. I noticed that their chicken has a paprika season. Hold up. It has African notes. Like yeah. African food. Like spice. Yeah, African spices. Their chicken is always so good. It's a hefty. <laughs> their chicken is absolutely Ooh. delicious. It smells Look at that. amazing. Oh my god. But eating it together is just the best. So their chicken quality is good. The chicken alone, for me, 10 out of 10. Really? Yeah. Just the chicken? Yeah. Or am I hungry? <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna do the everything together. And a little bit of hot sauce too. It just works better together. The schmear, man. You really don't need syrup if you got the schmear. If I were to just rate the chicken alone, I'd give it a, a nine. You have to like sweets to really enjoy this experience. This one's really sweet. It's yeah, really good though. It is very chocolatey. This <laughs> vegan waffle has cinnamon in it. So good. It is really good. I don't need syrup. Sure. They have the perfect balance of, to me, sweetness and savory. Mm -hmm. And the perfect amount of seasonings and herbs. I agree. On the chicken, it's not too herby. I hate when I eat foods that's like super herby and all you taste is like 
spices and basil and parsley. So it's really sweet, the waffle, at least the sweet potato one. If you add syrup, obviously it's gonna be even sweeter. You really don't need it, but I'm a psychopath. But the schmear makes it so much better, adds so much extra flavor in terms of sweetness. Peach, apricot, vanilla, almond, maple. There's a bunch of different schmears. It's like the perfect delivery tool for the schmear to get in your mouth, mm -hmm. the waffle. And the hot sauce, if you choose to have it, you can actually add spice to it. It's a great balance, super delicious. Their chicken is very crispy. Overall, great balance. I'm gonna give it a 10 out of 10. I don't want to, but I do. It's the just that thing? good. Yeah, the, as, as a dish, what I got is a 10 out of 10. I'm giving it a 9.5 out of 10 because okay. this is a lot of food. It's very filling. I would love to eat this. It's very delicious, but it's like, yeah. I'm gonna be so full so fast. It's like pasta, for example, but it is very delicious, very tasty. So we got cheese grits here. Oh my gosh, look at this, guys. Super cheesy. Super creamy, super cheesy. Potato salad is very yellowy. Yellowy. Thanks. It's mustard base, I'm sure. Mm, best freaking potato salad. Well, look at this cheese. Salad. Really? Yes. Wow. Oh my gosh. I could eat this every day. What's so perfect about it? Every day. Sweet, salty, savory, sour, everything. Really? It's just the best potato salad I've ever had. Potato is not too hard and it doesn't break apart. It's just perfect consistency. What score are you using? This is a thousand. A thousand? Ten. Just a thousand. <laughs> Thousand out of ten. The reason why I ordered grits is because whenever I'm in a southern restaurant, I want to experience it. But in my whole history, I have never, never been able eat. to find a ten out of ten grits. In the last video, Nina's grits were really close. Like that was probably the best grits I ever had, to be honest. This one's good, but it's just it's grits to me. It's better than your microwave grits, but it's it's still just cheese and grits. So I'm gonna give it a six point eight. Now let me try yours real quick. Oh wow, yo, she right. Yo, this is really good. I'm not even like a die-hard potato salad person, but this is good. All right, we're gonna try their classic waffle. This is actually the first time I've eaten their classic waffle. So this is a maple schmear. I'm gonna do it, no syrup. It's really soft. Actually, soft. all their waffles are not that crispy. This waffle just tastes like really good buttermilk waffles. It's classic. I don't think it has any special purpose besides being a good texture to deliver the schmear. Without the schmear, if you're just rating the waffle, 6.5. Now with the schmear, every schmear adds at least a point. Yeah. So it's, the schmears are so good. With the schmear, this becomes a 7.5. But I know their other flavors of waffles are amazing. Yeah. Dane's chicken and waffles. To me, it's kind of a spot that embodies Greensboro. If you're gonna take someone out in Greensboro, this is definitely in the consideration every time. Not only are you going for the food, that's amazing, but the culture. Cute little spot downtown. Yeah. Yeah, their food is great. I don't think I've ever had anything here that I just don't like. Yeah. If you want chicken and waffles, I recommend this place over any chicken and waffles. Oh, 100%. Place. This is easily the yeah. best one. With that being said, I'm gonna give Dane's chicken and waffles a near perfect score. I'll give it a 9.6. All right, so I'm gonna catch up with you guys at the bakery. I'll actually be alone, so see you guys there. For our next spot of the food tour, we're at Oh Goodness Bakery. Located in downtown Greensboro, Oh Goodness Bakery is the only bakery around that is fully gluten-free and keto-friendly. Their bakery items are not only good enough, but often better than their gluten and non-keto counterparts. They pride themselves on making items that anyone and everyone can enjoy. This place looks and smells amazing, but before we give it a shot, let's meet the founders, Shayna and Jesse Westlink. I'm Shayna. And I'm Jesse. We started eating keto years ago. She had always been a baker. You can't have baked goods that have regular flour in them and regular sugar. She had to figure out how to bake that way. So I bought my own almonds. I blanched them myself <laughs> and I would sit and watch movies at night and pluck the skins off of them to make the flour. We would go places and I would take what I made and people would say, this is really good. You can't even tell it's keto. We don't blanch our own almonds. No, right? not we don't do that. Anymore. Anymore. Thank anymore. God yeah. someone else does that. We use a lot of unconventional things. We use pork rinds to achieve yeah. crunchiness. We use coconut flour to help with the absorption. Very rewarding to see people come in to the bakery who traditionally can't go to a bakery. They're used to seeing maybe one or two things in a bakery that might be okay for them. I love it when they come 
in and they say, so what of this is keto and gluten free? And we're like, well, all of it, you know? So to just see that and to know that we're helping people, that's really what we're about. All right, guys, so we are at our second spot of the day. It is Oh Goodness Bakery. This is the only keto friendly and gluten free bakery in all of the triad. Personally, I've never had a keto friendly and gluten free item that's like meshed together with both. So this is gonna be really interesting. And you guys know I love sweets. So we're gonna compare this with every other sweet. We have the brownie or crinkle. This is essentially kind of like a brownie cookie. It's pretty cool. And then we have a carrot cake as well in a cupcake form. Pecan pie truffle. I do love truffles. And then we have the crackle bar right here. It has like this little fudge on top. And we have the banana nut with some caramel drizzle on top. I'm super excited to try this. It's really funny because they said that there's no way I'm gonna be able to eat this all. Little do they know what my channel is all about. All right, so the brownie crinkle here. Whoa, first thing I notice, it falls apart in your mouth. It has like the soft texture of when you cook a brownie perfectly, but then you leave the inside just a little bit undercooked, which is what I do. So this is really good, yeah. And the fact that this is keto friendly, it tastes as if it's just a normal, really good brownie. And it has this glaze on top of it. Imagine a really good brownie, slightly undercooked with a glaze on top, kind of like a Krispy Kreme. So it's like a Krispy Kreme donut mixed with a brownie, but this is keto friendly and gluten free. And it's dairy free. This is like the everything free one. I'm gonna give this an 8.4, something I would totally get again. This is really good. If you're a chocolate fan, you have to order this one. All right, so we're gonna try their truffle here, pecan pie truffle. I'm gonna let you guys know how it is. Oh, what, what you doing there, man? No pressure, dude, no pressure. So as you guys can see, we actually had the owners under me the whole time. I had to tell you guys a good score because I'm just playing. It was actually really good and I just told them to do that bit with me. All right, pecan pie truffle. Wow, look at the inside of that. Mm. The texture wise, it's like a cake pop. It's very condensed. The flavors are packed in. You're biting into something super small, but yet the flavors burst in your mouth. This is another chocolate heavy one. So if you guys are a fan of chocolate, I actually like this one even more than the brownie because of how packed in it is. And in the inside, it has a strong taste of pecans, which I love. The outside has a very hard chocolate. So right when you're eating it, it tastes like the outside of a Lindor chocolate ball. I'm gonna give that a score of a nine. That was really, really good and enjoyable. We're gonna go with the owner's favorite here, or the owner's husband's favorite, carrot cake cupcake. I love carrot cake, so I'm gonna be biased already. You can see that they put a lot of love in their food and their ingredients, because you can actually see each and every ingredient that is in this cupcake. Oftentimes when you order carrot cakes, you'll see dots of orange. You won't really know, is that carrot or is that just sprinkles of like orange food coloring? Mm. Oh wow, this might be better than carrot cake, carrot cake. I love carrot cake, but when you go to like a Whole Foods, it is really good, but it's a little too sweet. This one is not too sweet, which I enjoy. This is something you can eat a lot of. It's very addicting. I don't know how this is keto friendly. It's like stepping up a ladder. Each item that I eat is a little bit better than the last. Really close to the truffle, but it is a little bit better. I'm gonna give this a 9.2. So far, this is amazing, it's wowing me. All right, so this banana nut bread has no bananas in it, and it has some caramel glaze on top. So we will see how this is. I love caramel. Caramel and banana, right up my alley. I can see with texture, it's flaky, which is good. I like flaky cakes. Some people like really like sponged in and condensed cakes. Wow. You do taste a lot of banana, which is really strange on how they did that. I don't know how you guys did that. Magic, yeah. I think they're sorcerers. The banana and caramel mix is perfect. It's a flaky cake. You guys can kind of see a little bits and pieces in there. You can taste the nuts too. Right off the bat, your tongue's tasting the banana. That's the first thing that you get a glimpse of. Right after that, the nuts come in and then there's a hard aftertaste of caramel. I like this, but I don't think it dethrones the cupcake. Something with the cupcake, I could eat like three of those. Those were nines. I'm gonna do 8.7. I think if you are huge fans of banana or caramel, this would be for you. All right, so last thing we're gonna try here and I'll probably end up eating all this later, crackle bar. I'm really intrigued at this because of the shape and texture. It almost reminds me of any other bar that you have, and it has chocolate on the top. It's very packed in right here. It looks very aesthetically pleasing. I don't know how you guys have chocolate that's sweet, but it's keto friendly. That's crazy. So let's give it a bite. Mmm. Oh my God. It is so crispy. This has pork rinds in it. This is the one. How does it have pork rinds? That's ridiculous. That's the best one right away. That's so good. I think of anything here, this deserves a 10 out of 10. I would go out of my way. I'm going to get this. This is really good. It's very crispy and it has a salty taste to it. So it almost has a balance of savory and sweet in it. I'm going to finish this all probably one bite. <laughs>
Mm, I love. The texture is perfect. So imagine a Rice Krispie treat, but instead of Rice Krispies, you use heavy peanut butter and chocolate layer on top. Amazing, 10 out of 10. That one was the best. Dude, I'm glad I saved that for last. Caramel sauce right here. This is just the caramel sauce, and this is keto friendly and gluten free. Oh wow, I like this because it's subtle. It's not overly sweet at all, and I'm, I like that. This was amazing. I'm so sweeted out, but it was so good. And the crazy thing is, it's not even like sugar in this, which is awesome. Oh goodness, this was such a unique place. I think if you're gonna go to Greensboro and you have to stop by somewhere for dessert, this has to be the spot just because, first of all, it's super unique, and you're also kind of gonna be in a piece of history. This is the only place in the triad that has something like this. I'm a huge fan of this place. We're flirting in the nines. Uh, I'm gonna give this place a 9.4. This was really good. Great job, guys. You guys did amazing. Thank you so much. For the third spot of the day, we're at my favorite boba tea spot in Greensboro, Moshi Moshi. I absolutely adore this place, from the design to the workers, and especially to the menu items. At Moshi Moshi, there's something for everyone. You can enjoy your boba, waffle ice cream, or teyaki while being in a beautiful setting. They also just finished their gorgeous anime-inspired back patio, and I highly recommend you guys check this place out. I've been a huge fan of Moshi Moshi since they've opened, but I'm still going to be as honest as possible. And before we try all the goodies, let's meet the owner, Ronnie. My name is Ronnie Rio, and and I'm the owner of Moshi Moshi. We opened last year, right before the pandemic. It was definitely a process. It was fun. Uh, there was a lot of struggles, but we're here today. What makes us very different is our menu. We revised our menu and launched this menu in January of this year. It took us a while to launch the menu because we're trying to find a lot of different options. What can we bring to the triad area? We added a lot of many different options. We added the uh, tayaki, the fish waffles, and we have many different topping choices such as pizza, mozzarella cheese, cheese corn. So different that's not your traditional taiyaki wow. we added a back patio you can go out there for more seatings and enjoy the sun we're the only bubble tea shop in the area that's kind of influenced by anime anime has been a huge part of my life we wanted to bring that part of the experience to moshi moshi so we reached out to some local artists in greensboro for some anime type work thank you so much man. Thank all you right appreciate it thanks you by the way, this is Aaron West, if you guys don't know. He's a good friend of mine for, how long have we been friends now? Ooh, gotta be almost 10 years now. My man Aaron here is gonna help us with the jasmine milk tea. You got the strawberry cheesecake bubble waffle. So I got the taro milk tea, and then I got my personal favorite, which is mango cocoa. I already know this is gonna be a 10 out of 10. And our third guest, which I will bring in shortly, she got the peachy cheeks. An array of teyaki. If you guys didn't know what teyaki is, it's kind of like a waffle, but inside there's different fillings that you guys can pick. And we picked corn and cheese. And what would you like to start with? Um, well, you're holding out the spoon. <laughs> so I'll just go ahead and get a, get a bite. I feel like you don't want it to melt, you know? Yeah, it's a strawberry cheesecake, bubble waffle. Try to get a little bit of everything. Look how pretty first. this thing is, yeah, man. Yeah, I mean, that's, that's art. Look how pretty that sucker is. That's the complete bite. Mm -hmm. So the cheesecake pops immediately. Get those notes of the strawberry bursting through. Ooh! Yeah. Oh, it's good. Yeah. This is really good. It's better than I thought. Mm -hmm. I like the consistency. It's enough of a texture breakup with the, the ice cream. Kind of like a Belgian waffle kind of Ooh. taste. The ice cream itself is probably just kind of like standard ice cream. Okay. Uh, it's good. 8.9, like 9.9. 8.9, okay, that's yeah. a really good score, yeah, man. Yeah, I mean, you just can't go wrong with this, though. Yeah, absolutely. They have Avengers-themed caps here, which is super cool. A little, a little upset I didn't get the Iron Man, but it's okay. Oh, I just realized this is Thor. This is, that's so cool. Every bubble tea place I go to, I actually get milk tea. Taro milk tea, to be very specific. That's just my flavor to kind of judge the basis of how good someone's milk tea is. So here we have a taro milk tea with egg pudding in it. I'm playing leaves from the vine right now, but the cry, so. <laughs> I got 50% sugar, which is, I think, personally, that's really critical because, you know, I don't like too, too sweet bubble tea because then you get tired of it really fast. This one's really smooth and good. Unoffensive is the best way to describe it. If you like taro and you just want that classic taste of taro, this is definitely one of the places to get it. I've had drinks here that I've been straight up with Ronnie and I was like, I you know, don't really like that one. It's not for me. Taro is for me. It's an 8.6. I think it's really good and it's classic and it's better than most of the taro places I've been to. I went with the jasmine milk tea. It's just, it's something I usually get every time. This one's really good. It's not too much milk. The last place I went to when we were over in Cary, that one was almost like straight milk and the tea was kind of watery. This oh. one you get more of a jasmine taste. Okay, that's like, important. Yeah, I mean, the biggest thing for me personally about jasmine tea is that kind of like floral like taste yes, that you get. Yes, that's important. Absolutely nothing wrong with this tea. Okay. This is one of the better cold ones I've had. I go about eight episodes. 
Yeah. Eight out of ten. Yeah. Solid score, man. Any words before I swap you with our other guests? If you haven't tried it, check it out. Recently exposed, just because I have a very diverse friend group. Of all Hangs out with together. all us Asians. Yeah. He <laughs> likes Asian girls. Regularly, like, so it's true. If you guys are out there that need someone them. to bring you over to our country and you can get a green card, <laughs> we have Aaron here. Right. <laughs> Thank you, Aaron. Uh, I'm gonna swap you out with our other guests. So we're gonna bring in our next guest. This is actually Corinne. Yes. Corinne, that's Hi. such a pretty name. Thank you. Corinne is actually one of the writers, or would you say? So I work with O. Henry Magazine, awesome. and under them is O. Hey Greensboro. Yeah. Tell me a little bit about O. Hey. O. Hey is the fun, flirty side mm -hmm. of O. Henry. O. Henry is a magazine that's been in Greensboro for a while. Okay. O. Hey is kind of their attempt to branch out and reach maybe a little bit more of the younger population. O. Hey does a ton of promoting local people in the triad area so that's why we're so excited to work with you and yeah, if you guys didn't know here. we're actually bringing in another member in the next spot her name is cassie and she's yes. gonna be a part of the tour thank you so much by the way guys because i actually reached out us. to them to not only join the food tour but also write an article on me because i really wanted my name out there she ordered a drink from moshi moshi that she's gonna be reviewing for us this is the peachy cheeks right yes. yes and you got a 50 percent sugar yes i did all right awesome oh that looks really great when you mix it up oh my gosh okay so yeah definitely the first thing that hits my mouth is the peach which is what i would of expect. course um do cheeks hit your mouth too yes <laughs> occasionally <laughs> i'm actually getting like chunks of peach in there okay which is great i love texture in my drink so yeah like pulp that. and stuff yeah. i'm a fan of pulp i really like that yeah, i know yeah, some yeah. people don't like it but i'm like i'm a fan give of give it to me really really good not too sweet because of the 50 percent sugar of so course. it's like perfect the tea really bounces well with the fruit a perfect mix i'm gonna give this like a nine wow that's I a really, good score like, i believe that really good. <laughs> i believe that we actually got one joint flavor here it's probably a little soggy considering that we waited because i had to take pictures boost it a little bit in regards of that sink cool. it all right and sink it oh wow look at the inside of that oh my god there's a lot of corn in there it's really good I'm actually surprised. They really loaded this one up. Yeah. And yeah. this is good. It I'm was not something I would have picked for myself. The idea and concept of this is brilliant. Yeah. The corn and cheese. The inside is really soft. I think if you're a soft teriyaki guy, yeah. this is a good one for you. I think I'd get it again. You, oh, I'd get it again. Yeah. I get it again, but I don't know how. I don't know how often. Yeah, exactly. Right. Like a mid seven, like seven five. Okay. 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 I'm probably somewhere in that range as well. Yeah. I was low seven. So okay. ready? So one, two, three. Seven point four. All right. <laughs> we perfect. Got it. Seven point four, considering the flavor that we got and also that we ate it late if it was crispy uh which if you ate it right away i feel like it would have boosted it a little bit so i'm gonna say it's 7.4 for us right now but i think it has potential to be in the eight thank you guys for being a part of the food tour by the way i really Thanks appreciate you guys us. i saved this for last because i already know i always come back to this this is the mango cocoa drink so there's mango there's coconut water mango flavored tea mango jelly the thing that sets this apart and the reason why i always give this a 10 out of 10 is because i've never found this anywhere else i go to other places i get fruit teas but they never had a fresh coconut with mango mix. That's literally the two fruits that I love the most. Also, how fitting is it that it's Iron Man, my favorite superhero? All right, so I got 50% sugar. Look how pretty this is. In my opinion, this is one of the prettiest drinks. Bro, I don't know how you do it, man. It never doesn't hit. It's a perfect blend. So when you guys look at Blake Lively, beautiful actress, right? You're gonna think, wow, like who is gonna be her perfect match? And then Ryan Reynolds is there. They fit so well together. They have beautiful children. This is what this is. It's just Ryan Reynolds and Blake Lively in a drink. This is perfect. This is gonna be a 10 out of 10. And the mango hits you first. And then right after that, it's a heavy hit. Of almost like an organic feel of coconut water. They have so much textures coming in your mouth. It's got real fruit in there. It's got jello. It's got a little bit of everything. So you got firmness, squish every texture you can possibly think of and the flavor is amazing perfect way to end this part of the food tour i love this place when i'm in greensboro there's no other place i go to i'm gonna give it a score of a 9.6 just because ronnie is such a cute guy look at him look how cute he is i'll catch up with you guys on our sponsor which is our round one we're gonna be vlogging there with a couple friends we're gonna be bringing them along then after that we have one final spot what's up bro <laughs> okay we are at our sponsor for the Greensboro Food Tour. Today we are at round one. We were actually there for the last video as well if you guys didn't see part one. Thank you so much to round one for sponsoring this video. They actually gave me a game card. We're gonna have a great time here. For the next few minutes of the vlog, we're just gonna be enjoying some of round one. If you guys don't want this and you guys want just the food content, skip forward, but I hope you guys enjoy this little vlog portion. My name is Adam. I am the general manager here at round one at Four Seasons Mall. Here we have about 370 games. So we're a fairly large arcade in the area. A lot of our games are 
directly from Japan. So you get that original feeling, especially if you're someone who's into that type of original feel and you, you want that real arcade feeling. The other thing is that we offer ping pong, pool tables here, bowling, and uh, we got a full bar. This is a Japanese company, so we also provide sake. You can get it warm, you know, room temp, however you want it. But we do have mixed drinks. We do have liquor as well, uh, certain drinks. Thank you so much for having us here, man. So before we participate on any fun games, we had to get a drink. Or what did everybody get here? Water. What? <laughs> the blood of my fellow competitors. A soda. The sake. Take it. Oh, the whole. Okay. I don't know. It's up to you. You can sip. You can sip if you want. Or or oh. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Tag me in. Tag me in. Tag me in. Tagged in. Tagged in. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. So much pressure. So much pressure. Ah. Let's go, Amelia. Oh, you got so close. He's like, no, I'm not eating ice cream. I'm not eating ice cream. I just know. Is it a cone? All right, I'll eat ice cream. <laughs> Bro, I can't pass up a cone, you feel me? If you guys go to round one, their ice cream is literally 99 cents, and look how big this is. It's a big old doink. They be hooking it up here. Y'all got to check this place out if you guys are in greens, bro. I hate you, bro. You made me cheat on my diet. <laughs> Let's go. OK, then. <laughs> hey, that one hit rim. <laughs> Two points! Let's go! You gotta hurry up, you gotta hurry up. Time's almost up, you got 10 seconds, you got 10 seconds. Let's go! All right, guys, so we wrapped up round one, and thank you so much for sponsoring this video. I appreciate you guys, round one, and sponsoring the whole food tour. You guys are amazing. Their links are gonna be in the description box. I highly recommend you guys check them out if you guys are in Greensboro. How was everybody? Good, dude, that's awesome. Yeah? We love you, round one. For the final spot of the day, we're at Chez Jeunesse. Chez Jeunesse is a French breakfast and lunch spot located in downtown Greensboro. One of the goals of Chez Jeunesse is to provide a full high quality French dining experience. So let's meet their owners and a few of the workers and find out what Chez Jeunesse is all about. Hi, my name is Catherine Hubert and I'm the owner here at Chez Jeunesse. We are a French inspired restaurant in downtown Greensboro. We do breakfast and lunch. We're open every day from eight to two. A big part of our mission and purpose is that we employ adults with intellectual and developmental disabilities. Over 50% of our staff are adults with intellectual and developmental disabilities. We really hope to be a spot of community and connection. My name is Bethany. I am the event coordinator. I love the French inspiration and how that really pours into all different aspects of the business. We're tip free. We really encourage guests to kind of linger and enjoy their meal, take their time with their loved ones and really just connect over really good food. Hi, I'm Molly Warner and I'm one of the key servers at Chez Jeunesse. I just love the environment and everyone's so understanding and of course the food. Hi, I'm Brianna. Chez is all about the community. It's about taking your time, sitting down and getting to know your neighbors and I love that we have regulars that come in here and I get to learn about their lives and they get to learn about mine. After meeting the team, I realized what Catherine meant by the goal of community. Everyone here truly looks happy from the clients to the workers. But aside from just the environment, the food here also looks amazing. At Chez Jeunesse, their menu includes nearly all French classics, from drip coffee, baguettes, tarts, crepes, to many, many more. Before we try the food, let's see what everyone's favorites are. Breakfast, my personal favorite is the Dutch baby. That was what my mom always made for my sisters and me growing up for our birthday meal. But the lunch menu, our smoked salmon sandwich, is probably our most popular. Breakfast, it's it's gotta be the strawberry Nutella crepe. Love the chocolate and fruit combination. For lunch, the smoked salmon sandwich. For breakfast, an asparagus and goat cheese crepe. For lunch, it is the smoked salmon sandwich. I'm gonna say the lemon ricotta pancake. They come with homemade blueberry syrup, which is excellent. All right guys, so we are at the final spot of the Whole Food Tour. We are at Chez Jeunesse. So you guys met all the staff and the owners and they are wonderful. I love the mission that they have here. So everyone recommended the smoked salmon. I got this right here and it comes out 
on this huge charcuterie board. Fun fact, I used to pronounce charcuterie charchetti. Michelle behind the camera got this potato chart and then I got the tomato bits. Purely the only reason I got this is because I was watching a podcast with this basketball player, Boban Marjanovic, and he loves soup. And I was just like, you know what? I haven't had soup in like years. Look at that, guys. So it's got smoked salmon, some radish, avocado, and I asked for feta cheese. It actually comes with goat cheese, but y'all know me. I don't like goat. And they got cucumber, cucumbas. Wow, it's such a refreshing food item. If you're gonna get breakfast or lunch, this is something you should get because it's light, really refreshing. I think it's because there's the fresh avocado and cucumber that they put on here. You feel rejuvenated. I feel like I just drank a glass of water. Wow, the smoked salmon here, it doesn't taste over smoked. Someone who is new to smoked salmon can eat this. It's gradual. It's not like you're gonna shock them with a really, really smoky flavor. I think anyone can eat this and enjoy it as long as you like salmon. I'm gonna land it right at a flat eight. If you're looking for something light, this is definitely something you should get. It's tomato bisque here. We got some rich orangey reddish sauce and then we have some, what looks like fresh bread. It looks really good, very crispy. Hear this crunch. <laughs> All right, let's get a dip. Ooh, lots of sauce there. All right, let's do it. Wow, I'm a huge fan of this. So first thing that stands out is how buttery the bread is. Very homemade. And then the next flavor that hits you after the bread is this creamy, decadent tomato sauce. It's gonna sound funny, but it's almost like they cooked this with cream cheese. That's how like thick and creamy it is. It's very rich and it's so delicious. If you're a huge fan of rich, creamy tomato sauces in your like your pasta and things like that, you should get this. For me, this is definitely my order. I'm gonna say this is a 9.1. This is really good. I'm a huge fan of this. I think the bread really adds a bunch of points for this. Potato tart time. There's a heavy layer of cheese on top of the potato. Let's give it a shot here. Oh, I think it's a pleasant balance. It's a little bit more hearty. Potatoes are seasoned very well. You can taste the thyme, olive oil. You can taste the cheese. It's, I love that. And the tart itself, it tastes a lot like the crust of a shepherd's pie. If you guys have ever had Irish food. It's very unique, I've never had something like this. I guess it's because I don't eat French often. This is really good. I'm gonna give the potato tart an 8.2. Yeah, with that being said, I'm gonna have you guys meet our special guest of the day. You guys actually met Corinne at the last place, but we have another Oh Hey member with us today. Here is Cassie from Oh Hey. Tell me a little bit about yourself, just your personal. Just your personal? Okay. I have lived in Greensboro for about two and a half years and I have three kids. I have two teenagers and a toddler, wow. so I'm not right in the head. <laughs> With O'Hey and O'Henry, what's your role there? So I am the digital content manager. I run our newsletters, which we have O'Hey Greensboro has a newsletter and O'Henry has the Sazerac, which goes out every Friday. And then I do all of our social media as well. That said, I actually have her here as a guest to review her own order. What did you get? It was called the French Country Salad and I added salmon to it. It has cherry tomatoes, almonds, Brie, greens, asparagus, there's some beets under here, and then of course the salmon. I love beets. Let's start with the beets and some brie. I don't think I've ever eaten on camera, so this is an experience really? for me alone. That's really good. The cheese yeah. is oh, so yeah. creamy. So now let's go with the salmon. It's very good. It's cooked perfectly. Okay, not too dry and it's not underdone. I hate when it's underdone. I'd rather have it be overcooked than undercooked when oh, it comes to salmon. Sweet. Unless it's sushi. <laughs> Getting the beet with the brie and the salmon was probably oh, the best bite so far. Like, so overall, I think I would probably give it an 8.5. It's really good, it's yeah. solid. Yeah. Well, thank you so much for being a Thank you of for having me. And just like that. No, just like that, we ended the Greensboro food tour. I hope you guys enjoyed visiting my hometown with me. I love this place. I've lived here for so long and my parents still live here. Greensboro is always going to be a part of me. And I think it's an underrated place in terms of food. So glad that I'm able to show you guys some of the cool spots and also our sponsor round one. That was a great time. If you guys stuck around this long in the video, I really appreciate you guys. You guys are awesome. Please, please, please support my podcast. It's going to be the first link in the description box down below. I loved all these food spots. If you guys are interested in any of them or anything that we tried today, all the links will be in the description box down below. I don't know when the next food tour will be because I'll be focused on the podcast, but don't worry. This channel is not going to be going anywhere. I'm still going to be uploading clips of the podcast on here and also a bunch of food content. So stay tuned for that. Love each and every one of you guys. I hope you guys have a great week whenever this uploads and I'll catch you guys next time. Peace.